All right, welcome to another episode of Daily IoT. Just a quick episode today. I want to give updates on projects that I'm working on, but also sort of things that I'm learning, maybe throw in a little news uh, like we're gonna do today. Uh, just a quick update on, uh, talked about in episode one, this button, zoom in on that, probably blurry. Uh, anyway, still just chug along with these AAA batteries, press the button a couple times a day. Um, still no sign of, of the batteries dying, which is good. This is a low power application. So I'll, I'll be publishing some stuff on, on that for the Photon. Um, but anyway, uh, Raul continues to work on the back end side of this. What we've been sort of tossing around is this idea of, again, we are kind of reinventing the wheel on this, but one of the things we thought of is if it would be cool if you could push a lot of processing off to the cloud, kind of like an if this, then that, but in the form of like a JavaScript program, like maybe you could load um, some JavaScript up into like a sandbox, you push the button, it runs it. Anyway, we're tossing around some ideas uh, for that. Uh, we'll see what happens and keep you updated on it. Um, so real quick, some news from today uh, in the IoT world, two big pieces of news. I mean, not global, you're not gonna see these on your nightly news, but IoT news, um, Onion. The Onion Omega, the people at Onion HQ have released an SDK for you to use as a developer if you want to create a, uh, an app for the Onion Cloud. So when you log into the Onion Cloud, they sort of have these, these out of the box apps that you can uh, control and talk to your Omega with. And they have uh, published their SDK and a bunch of tutorials on how to, if you would like to contribute an app to that Onion Cloud, pretty cool. I would like to hopefully next week sometime sit down, really go through that, uh, maybe make an app just to learn and then try to post some YouTube videos with with some instructions on that, um, depending on how, how good their tutorials are. So uh, that's sort of news today uh, coming out of Onion HQ. The other big one, um, talked about this sort of in the way back days of micro news, a project by Sigfox, which is a company out of France who has made a low power wireless network. Um, and that's Sigfox. Sigfox is a company that provides a low power uh, wireless network. That's not like Wi-Fi. It's not Bluetooth. We're talking um, radio frequencies, but for low data rates. So s extreme low power. Think years of battery life, but very low data rate. So especially for something like this, like a button where you don't need a ton of data. You're just, it's a binary on off and you need to know about it every once in a while. Um, <clears throat> Personally, I think Sigfox is going to change the game big time in IoT, definitely a company to watch. Uh, but the news out of them today is that they are uh, going into Singapore. Uh, they are gonna provide an IoT network there. Uh, it's a big deal, sort of, uh, most of this is over in Europe is, is where they're based. Um, France, I believe, but don't quote me on that. Uh, but anyway, there's a lot of coverage over there in Europe. Uh, some of the major cities, like the five uh, biggest cities in America, have uh, sort of beta networks building out. But this is uh, one of those things that has a huge potential to change how we interact with the Internet of Things. You know, right now we talk a lot about Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and all those things, but a, a true uh, wide area network, I know that's not the right term, but think of uh, a network that covers an entire city that you can pay to have access to to transmit data to the cloud. Super powerful and definitely uh, a company to keep an eye on. So anyway, that's the, the news for the day. Like I said, just a quick episode to keep you in the loop. And uh, again, if you have any questions or would like to see something, I'd love some feedback. Tell me this is boring or not helpful or interesting. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Would love to talk to you. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you.